Hello everyone, hope you are having a blessed day. Thank you for entering into the sanctum. In this video, I just wanted to talk more about the Israeli and Palestine conflict going on right now and just try to understand a little bit more about it. Basically, if you haven't heard what's going on right now, uh, Israel and Palestine are in conflict. The conflict goes back over a century into the 1900s. Basically, the conflict is Israel and Palestine are fighting over the land that both the countries are inhabiting. And so the Jews and the Arabs are basically fighting over who gets the land of the region. And you may be thinking, well, why should I care about what's going on over there? Why should I care about Israel or Palestine? If you're a Christian, you should care about these things because even thousands of years ago in the Old Testament, Israel was talked about. The prophets of God talked about Israel becoming a nation. Specifically in Isaiah, it talks about God's people being scattered among the nations because of their disobedience towards God. But even then, God had a redemption plan to bring back his people back to Israel and prosper them once again. So about 2600 years ago in Isaiah's day, he prophesied in Isaiah 66, chapter 8. It says, who has ever seen or heard such a wonder? Could a country be born in a day? Can a nation be birthed so suddenly? Yet no sooner does Zion go into labor than she gives birth to sons. And so this was prophesied 2,600 years ago um, by God through the prophet Isaiah. And then it literally came to pass on May 4th, 1948, when the land of Israel literally became an official recognized nation. And so when that happened, the United Nations basically took that land that was called Palestine at the time and recognized it as Israel. And so now here we are in this situation a century later where Palestine and Israel are fighting over the land. So as Christians, we have a heart for all people and we wanna pray for not just the Israelis and the Jews, but also the Palestines. We want a state of peace in the Middle East. But even though it is our heart to pray for all nations, Israel in particular is sovereign and Israel is forever. Even though it wasn't an official recognized nation until 1948, May 14th. So we just passed the 73rd anniversary of the official founding of Israel. But even though it didn't become an official recognized nation with borders until last century, God founded Israel before the beginning of time. Before Israel was a thought by humans, it was set aside as a nation for God's people, God's the Jews to gather. And you may be thinking, well, why should I care about the Jews? They're not Christians. They don't recognize Jesus as the Messiah. Maybe they don't right now, but there's actually revival going on in Israel where Jews are recognizing the Messiah, recognizing Jesus as the Messiah. And I'll leave a link to uh, some of those videos in the description. Israel is sovereign. Israel is forever. Israel has been set aside by God as a gathering place for his people. Israel was the promised land, promised to Abraham thousands of years ago. So even though we want to pray for Palestine and cover Palestine in prayer, pray for peace in the whole conflict situation, Israel in particular, we want to pray for. And that's not just me saying that. There's a prophet in England and he does prophecies at the beginning of the year, prophesying what God told him, what the year is going to contain. One of the specific things he said at the end of 2020 was to pray for Israel because her allies would retreat and her enemies would seize the opportunity. But basically, I just wanted to make this video to inform you about the Israeli-Palestine conflict going on right now. Um, just make sure to be uh, covering the situation in prayer. And uh, let's go ahead and watch this prophecy. Number 15, a changing of the God in Israel and Iran intensified. Pray for Israel, says the Lord. Pray for her, for all her allies will shrink back and the guard that was holding her will retreat. For a betrayal is on the horizon 
a changing of the God is at hand. Netanyahu shall be shaken, and there will be those who will push for it in the name of secularism. But if my church will pray, I will roar as a lion, pray against a tension in Iran, for her people will cry out again, but her tyranny shall arise. Pray for her church, for her enemy is angry. So this is one of the cool things about prophecy. The scripture talks about one way we can know things are from God is when God speaks through his prophets before things happen. So when those things do happen, you can know that God forewarned you about those things. So yeah, just be praying for Israel, Palestine, the whole conflict, all the nations really just keep them all in prayer. So thanks for watching this video. If you want to join Skill Sanctum for more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one.